Hi, so this is the very first video of speed and distance. So before we start, I just want to discuss one simple case with you. Suppose you have two friends, first is A and another one is B. A can cover 70 meters of distance in 7 minutes, right? And B can cover 150 meters of distance in 10 minutes, right? So, these are the two given facts where A can cover 70 meters in 7 minutes and B can cover 150 meters in 10 minutes. And now, if they are asked to cover a distance of 30 meters and both A and B start at the same time, who will reach here first or who will win the race? So to find that, we have to compare these given facts. But in these given facts, neither this time is same nor the distance covered is same. So what we have to do? Yes, if somehow we can either make the distance covered same or the time taken same, then we can compare them. So since A covers 70 meters in 7 minutes, how much distance will he cover in 1 minute? In 1 minute, A will cover 70 by 7, that is 10 meters, isn't it? And if we talk about B, B is able to cover 150 meters in 10 minutes. So in 1 minute, he will cover 150 divided by 10, that is 15 meters, isn't it? Now, if we write over here, the distance covered in 1 minute, A is able to cover 10 meters in 1 minute and B is able to cover 15 meters in 1 minute, isn't it? Yes, and now we can compare this. This much distance is covered by A in 1 minute and this much is covered by B in 1 minute. What does it show? It shows that B covers more distance than A in 1 minute, isn't it? 15 is larger than 10 and this is the distance traveled by B in 1 minute and this is the distance traveled by A in 1 minute. Right? So, since we know that B travels more distance in one minute, that means if this is the race, B will win. Why? Because he covers more distance which is 15 meters in one minute. So, to cover this distance 30 meters, B will take 30 by 15, 2 minutes and A will take 3 minutes, isn't it? Yes, A will take 3 minutes and B will take 2 minutes, so B will win the race, right? So what we have done over here? Let me erase all unnecessary things. Here we have found the distance traveled by A in 1 minute and the distance traveled by B in 1 minute, right? And, and why we have found this? We have found this to compare the distance traveled by them in one minute or unit time, right? So, this is actually their speed. What is their speed? Speed is the distance traveled in unit time. In this case, time was given to us in minute. So, we have found the distance traveled by A and B in one minute, right? And these were the distances traveled by A and B in one minute respectively. A traveled 10 meters in one minute and B travels 15 meters in one minute, right? So, this is actually their speed. And we find speed so that we can compare their fastness 
without doing much calculations. So, first is speed. Speed is distance traveled in unit time. Unit time means it can be either one minute, one second, or one hour. So, speed is distance traveled in unit time, and unit time can be any unit of time can be either one minute one second or one hour because hour second and minutes are the units in which we measure time so we have defined the speed speed is the distance traveled in unit time right so what will be the formula for speed c here what we have done if you see here properly in these two places what we have done we have actually divided the distance traveled by the time taken if we talk about a in seven minutes a is traveling 70 meters right so if I divide this line into seven equal parts like one two three four five six and seven this much distance will be 10 meters right and how much will this time be time will be one minute right this is the line which I am dividing into seven equal parts why I am dividing into seven equal parts because the time taken by A to cover the distance of 70 meters is seven minutes so if I divide this line into seven equal parts I have to divide this distance also into seven equal parts so in that case this one part will represent if we talk about distance it will be 10 meters and if we talk about time it will be one minute and that is what speed is speed is distance traveled in unit time that is if you divide the distance traveled by the time taken you will find the speed right yes or no yes what we have done over here here this whole line was representing the distance traveled in seven minutes so since the time taken was seven minutes and the speed is the distance traveled in unit time that is in this case it will be one minute so I have divided this whole line into seven equal parts each equal part was representing the distance traveled in one minute and each part was actually representing 70 by 7 that is 10 meters so that is why the formula for speed is distance by time right so this is the formula for speed which is distance by time and what will be the unit of speed unit of speed will be equal to the unit of distance distance we measure in meters divided by the unit of time and time here it is in minutes so unit of speed will be meters per minute or meters per second or meter per hour right or it can be kilometers per hour right yes so what is speed speed is the distance traveled in unit time this is the speed if you remember this definition formula for speed will automatically be distance traveled divided by the time taken this will give you the distance traveled in unit time right and since this is the definition these are the units of speed which is meter per minute or it can be meters per second or it can be meters per hour or it can be kilometers per hour.